The male reproductive system is mostly located outside of the body. The rest of all organs include the penis, scrotum and testicles. Internal organs include the vas deferens, prostate and urethra. The male reproductive system is responsible for sexual function as well as urination. The male reproductive system includes a group of organs that makes a man reproductive and urinary system. This male reproductive system also helps in the production, maintenance and transport of sperm and semen. So they discharge sperm into the female reproductive tract. The male reproductive system is made up of internal and external organs. They also help in urination and help sexual intercourse and make children. Now let us see about the anatomy. What are the external male reproductive structures? These male reproductive structures are located outside of your abdominal cavity and pelvis. The external part of male reproductive system includes penis, scrotum and testicles. Now let us see one by one. Penis. Penis is the male organ for sexual intercourse. It consists of three parts. The root, this is the part of penis that attached to the wall of your abdomen. The body or shaft, shaped like a tube or cylinder. The body of the penis is made up of three internal chambers. Inside these chambers, there are special spongy like erectile tissues that contains thousands of large space that fills with blood when they are sexually erosal. As the penis fills with blood, it becomes rigid and erect, which allows for penetration during sex. The skin of the penis is loose and elastic, allows for change in penis size during an erection. The next part is the glands. This is cone-shaped end of the penis. The glands which is also called as head of penis, is covered with loose layer of skin called as foreskin. In some cases, removal of this loose skin is called circumcision. The opening of the urethra, the tube that transport both semen and urine out of our body. It is located at the tip of the gland penis. Now let us see about scrotum. Scrotum is a loose pouch like sack of skin that hangs behind the penis. It holds the testicles as well as as many nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum protect your test testes as well as provide a shot of climate control system. Next is testicles. The testicles are oval organ above the size of very large olives that lies in the scrotum. Secure at either end by a structure called spermatic cord. Most men have two testes. The testes are responsible for making testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, and for production, producing sperm. When the testes are coiled, mass of tubes called seminiferous tubules. These tubules are responsible for production in the sperm cells through the process called spermatogenesis. Epididymis. Epididymis is a long coil tube that rests on the back side of each testicles. It carries and stores sperm cells that are created in the testicles. It also the job of epididymis is to bring the sperm to maturity, the sperm that emerge from the testis, testicle are immature and incapable of fertilization. During the sexual erection, contraction forces the sperm into the vas deferens. Now let us see about the internal male reproductive organ. First is vas deferens. The vas deferens is a long muscular tube that travels from the epididymis into the pelvic cavity to just behind the bladder. 
the vas deferens transport mature sperm into the urethra in preparation for ejaculation. Ejaculatory ducts are formed by a fusion of vas deferens and the seminal vesicles that eject eject ejaculatory ducts empty into the urethra. Urethra is a tube that carries urine from the bladder to outside of your body. In male, it also have additional function in expelling the spam when you reach the orgasm. Next is the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches that attach the vas deferens near the base of the bladder. The seminal vesicles make a sugar-rich fluid that provides spam with a source of energy and helps the sperm to move. Prost next is the prostate gland. The prostate gland is a walnut sized structure that is located below the urinary bladder in front of the rectum. The prostate gland contributes additional fluid to the ejaculation. Prostate fluid also helps to nourish the sperm. Bulbo urethral gland. The bulbo urethral gland, or otherwise known as copia gland, a P-sized structure located on the side of the urethra, just above the prostate gland. These glands produce a clear, slippery fluid that empties directly into the urethra. This fluid serves as sub to lubricate the urethra and to neutralize any acidic that may be present due to the residual drop of urine in the urethra.